So now this isn't going to be a terribly exciting video. Just want to show you something I bought with the uh, money I got working extra hours recently. So 12 American wire gauge because my other wire is a 16 American wire gauge and I have smaller. So the uh, smaller the American wire gauge, the larger the wire. And uh, so it says 100 foot there, but that's both a red and a black uh, cable. So ultimately 200 feet total on this spool. And uh, I didn't pay a ton for it. I paid, I think, a little bit more than $26 on Amazon because it is copper clad aluminum. So pure copper would be a lot more expensive. It would be a better wire, though, because uh, aluminum has uh, some problems. So first off, the uh, main problem is when it's exposed to oxygen, it oxygenates, and then it becomes a uh, less quality conductor it becomes more resistive and it heats up more and uh, it can heat up enough to catch fire in circum certain circumstances whereas a pure copper wire would not have so also as it uh, heats up and cools down it expands and contracts more than uh, copper does so the uh, copper cladding doesn't do a ton to address that the main thing it does is keep it from oxygenating so it doesn't get as hot but uh, ultimately it's best to just use pure copper if you can and a lot of times you have to so they wrapped it pretty well I already started peeling it off but that's what it looked like before and I will finish peeling that off and now that the plastics off we can see the writing a lot easier so one cool thing is every two feet you can see they mark the uh, length there so that was 86 and then 88 and then uh, down here we got 90 feet so now the simplest way to tell that it is probably uh, copper clad aluminum you can see a silver colored uh, metal there so that is probably aluminum and a brown color metal uh, next to it that's probably copper so wherever you see that aluminum it should be surrounded by copper but uh, once you can see that silver color that's being exposed to air and it is oxidized my wire cutting and stripping tool should be able to cut and strip up to 10 gauge wire which is larger than this 12 gauge wire and so I figured I'd take off a couple of feet and there's some smudges there because I was uh, testing this out a little bit it is a pretty uh, tight squeeze right there so I don't think we're gonna be able to do 10 gauge insulated and uh, I'm squeezing pretty hard and doesn't look like this tool is going to uh, be able to uh, cut it very good so I'll use these wire cutters instead and I would aim better but I'm looking through the camera and uh, right there pretty easy so now one complaint that is common in the reviews is that they don't uh, peel apart very well. I believe the red sticks to the black and I don't think I'm going to be able to just pry it apart with my fingers like that. So I grabbed the blade from the same uh, basic electronics uh, tool kit that I got those wire strippers and I'm uh, going to try to see if I can separate them uh, like this. Flipping it over and also uh, scribing down it on uh, that side. And now let's see if they come apart. So they are coming apart. I got uh, some black there, but I don't have any exposed wire. So, so far, I think uh, that's pretty good. So now, I'm thinking I'll probably describe whatever length I need, but we will try uh, peeling. And uh, actually, it doesn't look like we're doing too bad uh, peeling it away as long as we scribed it to begin with and now we will see how well it strips the insulation so that is a self-adjusting auto a stripper got the black side and the red side my aim is off because I was watching through the camera there you go I think we got it lined up and it strips it pretty well so now let's take a look at the final results hopefully the uh, lighting is in a good spot to do so so you can see a silver color at the end there it's actually aluminum not silver silver would have been a uh, great uh, conductor but it is very expensive even compared to copper that's why we don't use it so on the outside of all the strands of wire so this is stranded wire it's a bunch of little wires put together you can see the copper coating there so that is really just to keep the aluminum from oxidizing for the most part and uh, the strands multiple strands means you can bend it a bunch of times without it getting weaker that was a solid piece of uh, wire 
it would keep getting weaker and weaker much faster as I uh, bend it. But in any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.